James Shaw Jr., the man who subdued a suspected shooter at a Waffle House in Tennessee, has far surpassed his initial fundraising goal for victims of the shooting. Shaw saved lives during the shooting when he risked his own life to wrestle the gun away from the suspected shooter, Travis Ryan and an N. Effort to help the families of those who couldn't be saved, he created a GoFundMe page, Shaw threw out the first pitch at the Nashville Sounds minor league baseball game and the team donated $4,000 to his GoFundMe for the victims. The initial goal of the fundraising initiative was to raise $15,000. However, in the last 15 days, over 6,299 people answered his call for donations to raise over $229,000. People from all walks of life have widely praised the 29-year-old's actions both during the shooting and in the aftermath of the tragedy. This is the kind of guy who should run for office. NBWULF at Nebulf, April 28, 2018 James Shaw Jr is a hero. https colon slash slash t dot co slash kike no emr pic dot twitter dot com slash 96 krell 6 y common at common april 29, 2018 james shaw jr who heroically saved lives in the at waffle house shooting and disarmed the gunman is using the money raised for him to pay for the funerals of the victims who lost their lives Angels are real. Honor him. Paperclip Leslie and Brandt at Leslie and Brandt. April 28, 2018 Shaw's share of helping others still isn't finished, either. On Monday, he was honored at his alma mater during an on-campus event at Tennessee State University. The Sioux family is extremely proud. The New York Times reported University President, Glenda Glover, said in a statement. James epitomizes the core values and mission of our institution. Sue was pleased to sponsor a reception honoring James Shaw Jr. for his heroic acts during the shooting at the Waffle House in Nashville. Community Partners Nashville CVB, Black Chamber, NLBA, R.H. Boyd Publishing, and Alpha Phi Alpha made contributions to a scholarship in his honor pick. Twitter.com slash TJBMNFZ3GK, Dr. Glendy Glover, at Glover Brut, May 8, 2018 A scholarship fund in Shaw's honor was also announced and it raised $15,000 in less than two hours, according to ABC News affiliate WKRN. When it's from the hometown it means a little bit more, Shaw told WKRN. It touches your heart, it's a lot more heartfelt, it's more close, it's a more warming feel, to further explain the what he's felt about the overwhelming support he's received since the tragedy likened it to feeling heat in the summertime, you know in the summertime when you walk outside you feel that heat, but instead of heat it's just like love, he explained. It's something like I've never experienced before. The morning after the shooting, Shaw went to church to begin the healing process of recovering from being witness to a tragedy that left four people dead.